Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI, where we help to save you money on your cable bill. Well, about four months ago, Amazon released a new feature for their Fire TV devices that allowed you to enter long usernames, passwords, or URLs much faster and easier than you could before on your Amazon Fire Stick remote. What Amazon quickly realized was that inside this new feature was a huge security hole, and as a result, quickly removed it from Fire Sticks before most people even noticed it was there. This feature came and went so quickly that I didn't even get a chance to make a video to warn you about it. Fast forward to just last week, I was happy to see that Amazon re-released this feature. They corrected their mistake by making it perfectly secure this time around. In this video, I'm going to show you how this new feature works. I'll show you what the security risk was and what they did to fix it. I think it's going to be a real time saver and I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. So if you're ready to see Amazon's latest feature that's going to save you time and make your life just a little bit easier, sit back, relax, and let's go. All right, let's get started. So as I said earlier, this is a relatively new uh, feature update that came into the Fire Stick. In this case, it's my Amazon Fire Stick 4K Max second generation. Let me show you quickly how to check for updates in case you don't know how to do that. Go over to the gear go down to My Fire TV, click on that, and then click on About. Now you will see over there on the side, it says Software Version Fire OS 8.1.1.1, that's mine. Go down to where it says Check for Updates and click on that. In my case, it says your Fire TV is up to date. If it didn't say that, it'll you know let you know that there's an update available and you can go ahead and click on that uh, accordingly. So let's go ahead and hit the Home button. And let me show you what this feature is and how it works. So basically what, what I said earlier is it allows you to enter in, you know, uh, email addresses, passwords, whatever, uh, basically any app where you'll see a keyboard, for example, uh, the downloader app, let's go ahead and open that up. So if you're not new to Cord Cutters LI, you've probably seen me do this dozens of times. If you go up to where it says enter a URL search term or whatever, you can go ahead and click on that. And now what you see there at the top right is actually a QR code. It says it's easier to type on your phone. Use your phone's camera to scan the QR code. So let's go ahead and do that. This will work for the iPhone or Android phones. Um, most cameras have QR code reading built in. Um, if you don't, you might need to install like a QR code reader or whatever. But I haven't seen any phones, you know, released in the last couple of years that don't have this built in. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up my camera app. I have an Android phone, but like I said, it doesn't matter. When you hover over that, you'll see it says keyboard, blah, blah, blah. It's a link. You go ahead and click on that link. It says connecting. And on the screen on the TV, you're going to say see this code for your security. Confirm that you're seeing this code on your mobile device. And as you can see, I sure do. So now it requires you, this is that security measure I was talking about. It requires you to match this code, basically. So if you go ahead and click yes, then you'll see this keyboard pop up. And here's where you can just go ahead and start typing. So if you click on there, you have the keyboard, you can type in a lot quicker than you can on the remote, basically. So if, let's say if you're typing in an email address, you could say something, you know, you could just type it in. This is not my email.com, et cetera. So you can just go ahead and type in, you know, all sorts of things in here if you want to. Uh, of course, then you have your, your buttons are available here as well as your center button to go ahead and click go. After you leave the screen that has the keyboard on it, your phone is going to go ahead and say this. It'll tell you that the mobile keyboard is only available when using the Fire TV keyboard is on the screen. But one more thing about this, which is kind of cool, if you just go ahead and click on Downloader and then you go back up into that field, let's go ahead and scan that code again because I, I didn't save it like I wanted to show you. So let's click on that. As you can see here, the second time you do it after you... I've entered the code, it doesn't need the code anymore. It remembers that it. it's in your phone now and it's saved. Now, the other thing that you can do, which is kind of cool, is if you, on your phone, I, I don't have an iPhone, so I don't know how that would work. It's probably very similar. You click on the three dots up at the top right over there, and you can say, add to home screen. And it says Fire TV keyboard. You can add it to the home screen, and it tells you that it's going to add it like that. 
Then next time you go in here, let me hit the home button. And then next time you go in here or any app for that matter. So let me go into a different app this time. Let's go ahead and open up Disney Plus just to show you that you can use this in virtually any um, app that has that uh, the keyboard that pops up on you. So let's go ahead and Disney Plus, we can go ahead and log in. If we click on this, you'll see the QR code up there, but no need to enter that this time. We can just go to our phone, find that uh, shortcut that we've added, see where it says Fire TV keyboard at the top right, click on that, open it up, and it's already there. You don't need to enter any codes anymore. Um, you don't need to you know, take a picture of the QR code anymore and you get to it a lot quicker. And uh, that is pretty cool in my opinion. So a lot of you might be familiar with the Fire TV app and right here on the phone, it says there, it says make text entry and TV control easier by downloading the Fire TV app. So they do try to get you to do that if you want it. But again, this is no app installed on the phone. All this is, is just clicking on that uh, link that pops up on the screen and allows you to use this feature. Now, back before they did this update of this feature, all you needed to do was click on that QR code and then bam, you were in there. So the security hole that resulted was anybody, um, if that was on the screen at any time, anybody in your house or anybody wherever, even us YouTubers, if we were to make the mistake of leaving that QR code on the screen, any of you could go ahead and click on that and then you would have full control of my fire stick, even if you're halfway across the world. Because this feature does work anywhere. With this new security feature built in, you don't have to worry about that. So there you go. That's Amazon's new feature for the quick and easy to get to keyboard for your Amazon Fire Stick or other Fire TV devices. Let me know what you think about this by putting a comment down in below. Is this something that you're gonna use, you think? Or is this just a kind of a waste of time? In my opinion, I think it's definitely nice to have. I'm not a huge fan of the Fire TV app I think it's a little clunky. Sometimes it has a hard time connecting. This one, this, you know, keyboard, um, I won't use the word app, but you know, this keyboard function of, uh, of the Fire Stick works every single time I've tried it and it's really quick and easy uh, without any problems. So there you go. The VPN that I use and recommend is IP Vanish. And for a limited time, I think for another week or two, they have the lowest price that I've seen in a very, very long time, all the way down to $2.19 a month. If you want to go ahead and check that out before you go testing the waters of any of these applications, feel free to check out the link in the description below where you can find the exclusive Cord Cutters Ally link for this special promotion. With all that being said, if you enjoyed anything you saw here today, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters Ally videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my videos shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. Thanks for watching.